So, welcome back to my channel. Wow, I'm saying it now. Wow, my channel. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just got back from Koreatown and, it's, and it inspired me to make kimbap. So kimbap is actually a Korean seaweed rice roll. And I usually make it for my family. And I made it once for one of my best friends. So hello, Richie. And now I'm making it for you. So I finished prepping everything. So we have here all the ingredients. So we need, of course, your seaweed rice. Um, your seaweed. <laughs> your rice. I have here my rice. And then the kimchi. And I prepped everything. And it's now time for us to roll. Okay, so now it's time to roll. And just a disclaimer, everything that I did here was just based on how I do things. I'm not a professional chef. <laughs> so even my recipe is like just my own. Or actually my mom's, my family, I don't know. But yeah, so you need your roasted seaweed. And get some rice. Let's spread it evenly. And if you need to get more, then go ahead. Okay, so it's up to you like how much rice you want in your kimbap. Like if you want it to be thick. I for one like it thin because I want more fillings than the rice. So just spread it out evenly. And we're gonna put your perilla leaves. Like a little bit. So small. There you go. And then we add your carrots. Let's put more. Alright. So I made sure to wash my hands obviously before I did this. <laughs> and our egg. It's all about layering and making it all nice and snugly for all our fillings. And your meat, maybe here on top. So, yeah, kimbap is my go to snack, as I mentioned before. And I love it so much. So I go to Korea before when I was studying, at least like every summer. My mom lives there. And this is was um this was one of my first ever real Korean food that I ate. And I just fell in love with it. So every time we go home, like we go to this store where we got it near the station near Dokjong. Dokjong station. So that's our station in Korea. We're gonna put Urkin Chi. And things hasn't things haven't changed. Like I went there last November 2000, yeah, 2019. And they're still there. <laughs> I bought kimchi from Ajima, the lady there. And yes. So this is what it looks like right now. Let me show you. And we're just gonna roll it. Time to roll. So don't get scared with rolling it. So you just really need to push and make it tight. And there you have it, your very first roll. So one down. How many do I have here? Maybe I think I'll just make four. I can usually finish two rolls in one sitting and then I can just eat the others tomorrow. My mom doesn't like it though. Um, let me put it in the fridge. I, for one, don't really care. I think of it like an, as an onigiri. So I can eat it cold too. Actually, it depends on how much I can make with the rice left. So yeah. Okay, so we fast forward now to kimchi. No, 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 kimchi. Why do I say kimchi? Kimbap number four. And uh, yeah, I like making kimbap for my family. So making this um kim making four kimbaps for myself is a little sad. No, yeah, actually, uh, cooking for my family makes me really happy. So doing this and eating by yourself isn't really the best thing for me. But you have to grow up. You have to be independent. I moved to Japan, and it's something that I wouldn't have any other way. I'm really, really, really thankful for this experience. Like, who knew that I will be able and I'm capable of moving by myself? 
looking for an apartment all by myself, paying for all of the bills like wow. This is something I did not expect and when God moves in your life, He really moves. So we are now rolling this one and I think this is um, second to the last. We can only make five campfox with what I cooked with the rice because we are out of rice my dear friends. See? So not enough but I will try to make it work. <laughs> this is not enough for a kimpo. But I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna spread it really thin. Oh my gosh, yes, we are doing it. We have so much fillings left. So this one is gonna be a special kimbap because it has a lot of everything. Maybe double portions of everything. So it's gonna be thick. Like thick, yes. So as much as possible, I would suggest that you try to finish your seaweed and use everything. But yeah, I couldn't do that right now. I have five and I think I'm just gonna be eating one or maybe two tonight. And then tomorrow. Yay! Okay, so this is our last kimbap. Okay, just gonna roll. <gasps> oh no. Okay. And ta-da! Here you go, our kimbap. And this, my dear friends, you can just eat it and it's your snack. We are done rolling and now we get to cut the kimbap. Ta-da! We have five. One, two, three, four, five. Ichini sanyon go! Go kimbap. And I can also eat the leftover filling, so yeah. How cool is that? Okay, so we are now just cutting. I just want to show you our final and how our kimbap looks like. Hmm. What is she? What is she this? I also heard they say umai in Japanese. Okay, so we are done cutting our kimbap. And here's our finished product. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> so I hope you enjoyed watching and making kimbap with me. I swear, this is the easiest snack to make. You just need to scramble eggs, cook some rice, and then chop and cut the ingredients and roll it together and you have this and i swear it's filling it's really yummy so i hope you make this at home as well and comment and tell me what fillings you made what fillings you did for your own kimbap and this was inspired by my trip to um, korea town today so please also watch out i'm gonna be making another video for that yes thank you